So the first thing with this uh, wall, where I'm going to build the uh, built-in couch here, I got to make sure everything is sealed up nice. I uh, don't want wind blowing, blowing the rain and stuff in through here on the cushions and stuff. So got to make sure everything's sealed up good. I, I removed this handle because people sitting here, I don't want them to smack their head. I'll put something on this too, actually. A little piece of styrofoam or something just in case, or a piece of sponge or something. So I don't want anyone smacking their head on there, sitting on the couch, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, we'll get this cleaned up. Get the joints all cocked up here. And uh, we'll get this couch put in. Should be good. Alrighty then. She's supposed to go. The cushion air cushion up here. Then just pull this out. Lay your two cushions down. Got yourself a bunk. Hey! Silky does it again. Thank you. 
So this is how it's supposed to be, but I really don't like the look of those steel legs. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably just going to keep this piece up in the loft, take it down when I need it for a bit. I'm going to pull out like that. The cocking's already dry, so I'll try with the cushions. space for sitting anyway and a much more comfortable place for sleeping I think thing I'm going to do is that one's going to go up here somewhere just until I need it for a bed maybe we'll see maybe I'll need it down here and this can go I'm buried I went with the log legs here of course I had some leftovers from the railings and stuff. I think that looks much better, keeping it rustic, you know, as rustic as possible. I, I need to bring down a cover for these cushions. Once all that caulking and stuff dries, I'll go around with a little scraper, pick off all the uh, stuff that's over on the onto the logs like this. I have a lot of that stuff. To do with the caulking and the spray foam and everything. Lots of that stuff to do. So I got a new uh, hanging picture here that my aunt gave me. It's going to go right up here. I think that one looks much better. I'll stick this little one somewhere else. I think that one looks awesome there. Life is better at the cabin, ain't that the truth? Morning guys. Just got down to the cabin here. Just want to show you guys something. Nice little surprise in the morning here. So yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. I uh, just used my little zoom camera here. It has excellent zoom. Uh, so when things are far away, I like to, I like to use this camera to uh, record. So, But uh, first couple of icebergs, I'm sure there's going to be hundreds and hundreds more pass by the cabin here in the next month or so. It's going to be pretty cool sitting here at the cabin watching the icebergs uh, float by, that's for sure. I actually just seen a big cloud of sea ducks just fly by out there. 
watch them right along the bay. Uh, pretty cool. I'm only a kilometer. My cabin is a kilometer from the from the shore here. So uh, that's the reason I always bring the 12 gauge now and a few slugs and a few uh, shotgun shells there just in case because uh, there have been already some polar bear sightings across the bay there. Actually across Bonavista Bay. This is Trinity Bay here about across Bonavista Bay right here. There's already been a few polar bear sightings so. I mean I'm in here cooking food all the time. I'm only a kilometer from the shore so I mean the polar bears they have great sense of smell so I don't want uh, I don't want any polar bears coming here looking for food you know what I mean so I do have uh, the 12 gauge there for protection just in case So I always try to keep this corner kind of out of the, out of the frame when I'm filming for obvious reasons. It's like my little tool corner. Got some old scrap wood and stuff I didn't want to keep outside and some tools and garbage, whatever. Some plastic and stuff from the roofing. But I want this place to start looking more like a home instead of a construction zone you know what I mean so going to uh, take some tools back home and stuff so hopefully this will open up a little more space and for sure it'll look a little better too So one of my favorite snacks to have at the cabin or anywhere actually, even over a campfire or whatever I like to warm them up is uh, smoked capelin, smoked dried capelin. And uh, you can eat them right out of the pack, they're already dried and stuff. But I like to warm them up over the stove or over a fire. These are complete fish. They're not gutted. The heads are on there. Everything. Some people like to take the heads off, but I don't really give a shit. I'll eat it all. You're gonna want some water. Very salty. But very good. Good snack. These are the guys that roll on the beach here in Newfoundland, usually I think June month. They roll on the beach and spawn. 
So you can pretty much go out and just scoop them up with your hands or some people use a cast net. And uh, there's pretty much no limit for uh, for you know uh, residents or whatever to just go to the beach where they're rolling, take take whatever they need. They roll in the millions and millions. Actually, I have an old video where I did some GoPro footage under the water when we were catching capelin. They were rolling on the beach and stuff. I'll link that uh, video in the description. If you guys want to go check it out and see what I mean when they're, when they're rolling on the beach and spawning and stuff. I had some pretty cool footage, so if you want to check it out, you can go ahead. So, about a year ago, I had a uh, giveaway contest where uh, I gave away um, a couple of my uh, survival kits, belt carry survival kits. And uh, one of the winners, Jack uh, Suchuski, I think that's how you pronounce it. Him and his wife uh, sent me a package once uh, the cabin was just about done here. And he sent me this uh, outdoor flag here. It's a um, proper flag for a flagpole. As a thank you for the, for the uh, survival kit that he won. He was one of the winners so he said he was waiting for me to get the cabin done so he could send me something. And uh, this is what he sent me. It's from him and his wife, Glenda. And I uh, just want to say I really appreciate that, Jack and Glenda. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed your survival kit. And uh, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to look for a longer. A longer is just a Newfoundland word for a, a long pole. Long, uh, thin pole. Uh, they used to use them like for fence railings and use them to build their flakes to dry their fish and stuff like that. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for one of those and uh, see if we can get this flag flying today. Of course, I'll take it down before I leave again. I don't want to leave it out because the wind here on this hill just uh, destroy it in a matter of days. But we'll definitely see if we can get this thing flying today. Once I'm done with my coffee, I'm going to put my lunch on and uh, we'll uh, look for longer. My last capelin. So I'll bring that to a boil and let it simmer for a bit. Simmer away some of that liquid. Then we'll have some mousse. I just have some bread to have with it today, but that'll be fine. So that little iceberg right there must be already ground up. That one hasn't moved all day. But this one out here, I don't know if you can see it way out there. That one was way over here. Now it's over there, so that one's not grounded yet. Still traveling, but that one down there is definitely grounded. Must be a shallow spot there in the in the bay.
So I've got the flag up. Uh, I assume you can see what I mean with the wind up here. A flag wouldn't last very long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make uh, you know a more permanent flagpole, one with a string. That way I can come down if the if the winds are a little calm, I can put the flag up. If the winds are too high, I'll leave it down. But I just uh, left it up for now. I'm going to take it down again shortly before I leave. And uh, yeah, I need to definitely find something more permanent. The flag is a little bit big for where it is right now. It can reach the cabin, so I don't want it tearing on the cabin and stuff. So I'm going to move it away from the cabin a little bit, but still close to the cabin. So yeah, thanks again, Jack and uh, Glenda. Really appreciate the flag, and it's going to be a nice addition to the cabin. Guys, it's getting pretty stormy out there. We're supposed to have some bad weather for the next couple days. Uh, snowing out there right now, but I think it's supposed to change to rain. So I'm gonna pack, pack up, and head out. Uh, I also want to stop and grab the uh, switch out of the memory card and the trail camera. So I'll see if we have any footage on that. Uh, I'll share, if I get any pictures on the trail camera, I'll share them at the end of this video. So yeah guys, uh, just want to say thanks a lot for following along again on another video. Uh, like I said, the kids hockey will be over next week. Easter week is the last of the tournaments, then the uh, ice comes up from the rink. So after that, it's uh, pretty much free for all for videos in. I'll have lots of time. I have some house rentals to do. I want to get my uh, old house uh, rented out by June 1st. I'll be leaving for Alberta June 7th and 8th around there. So um, I'm hoping to pump out a few videos between now and then. I still have six weeks so I'd like to get at least six more videos out before I leave. And I do have some plans. I want to do a bunch more gold panning in Alberta while I'm there. So, uh, I'll, of course, I'll take you guys along for that. Definitely want to do some traveling in Alberta, probably back to Drumheller again. Do some hiking down there and some fossil hunting, maybe. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like my Instagram and Facebook page. Don't forget to hit the bell notification, just in case I do a live, a Facebook, I mean, a YouTube live. You guys will uh, be notified. And uh, yeah, take care guys, we'll catch you on the next one.